So Hideo, we have here with us the owner and the head chef from Lentercot, Forbes Town, Chef Martin Kaspar. Hello, Hello Chef Martin Hi. from BG Circle. Hello. Good to see you. Hello, Chefy. Hi there. Hi there. And so we, we know that, am I pronouncing it right? Lantracot? That's correct. Yeah, very good. Very good. Okay, good. Uh, please correct me if I if I mispronounce it because I would want to pay the proper tribute to the name of your restaurant. Because of course, we know the steak is a famous restaurant of the Perry that started in the 1940s. And also, like I uh, asked, we've been to the restaurant that sells the famous lentricot, and this experience has has expanded all over from Paris to Hong Kong, and now it's in Manila. So since we can't travel now, and head over to Paris via BGC, via Forbes Town. Yeah. Okay. So now we're we're in we're in Paris. So, Chef Martin, what dish will we for Hideo and for Chris? What are we cooking? Uh, so we've been far, cooking, we've been cooking. Yeah, can you hear me? Please, can you hear me? Yes, I we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've been, we've been cooking really. Uh, actually, the restaurant started 10 years ago and we've still been cooking. And uh, yeah. we are very fortunate yeah. that actually you, we were uh, able to open inside so we can already cook inside because uh, I think there's a lot okay. of. Uh, yeah. as, you, as you can see, as you can see, I'd like to show you. In the moment, we are fortunate to open. We were able to open our terrace again, and as you can see, people can sit outside again. So I think that's a very important step, actually, after 90 days of uh, being to close. To and now we can go outside again with social distancing, which is very important. And uh, people can enjoy a glass of wine, can in, uh, enjoy the food. So, yeah, very big, very big. And I really encourage every viewer, please go and, and support your restaurant because that's what we really need in the moment. True, did you hear that? Yeah. Everybody? Uh, Chef Martin, yeah. please show the neighborhood restaurant. So, as you see, we go inside. We have the social distancing, we have the table for everything. Yeah, okay, that's the new norm. Of, uh, the new of norm. Now, look. Oh. I saw, uh, I saw oh, yeah, so. eating outside alone. <laughs> no yes, more eavesdropping in conversations. <laughs> exactly. And, and in the moment, it's basically because we can only. Uh, we only can do 30%. So basically, it's one table per person, and then it has to be social distance. It's very, very important that uh, yeah, that we follow that. So, yes. with, uh, with the cleaning and, and, and you wash your hands and everything. So, but yeah. Uh, so, Lantekov, yeah, it's it's thing, what you said, 1940s in Geneva. We have this secret herb of the sauce. I have to admit, uh, my secret herb of the sauce is better than the original. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, uh, and we is, are uh, in luck because which, which, Chef Martin Kaspar is going to teach us the recipe of the butter, the, the your your butter, right? We, we, that's what you're making, right? The secret butter sauce. You are gonna share with us. Uh, the, yeah, there. The secret butter sauce is yes, what Chef Martin is gonna teach us. Yeah, we have, what, is, what is inside? We have in the, there are a lot of ingredients. And of course, the name is secret, so I cannot really tell you what is inside. But of course, butter is inside. There's a lot of butter inside. There's a lot of different kinds of herbs inside. But it's it's a it's, 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 uh, butter. it's a recipe which uh, which yeah, herb is nice. Herb butter is nice. Which actually uh, the dish uh, which we created uh, for Manila. So the secret herb of the butter sauce is really something. Unique to Manila, and uh, and it goes really very well with all the the, the fries and all the, the so even with seafood together or with pork, so which is really good. So okay, uh, Chef Martin, kindly can, can talk uh, louder because uh, we we can't hear you okay. well. Yes. Okay, we'll do that. I will. Okay. 
so we are open we are open seven days a week and and father's day is certainly going to be a big day for us uh, yes people like the fathers they like to have steaks and uh, we also do steaks out so uh, people can actually order the steak and we will deliver it so so there you are going to uh, you go. demonstrate oh, something so the house yes so, so this is what we have this is, okay here we go so this is basically this is my signature dish which we have here in Lanzaco so it's a it's a seven ounce steak of U.S. sirloin, untergoat means sirloin steak with hand cut fries. Those are cut by hand and deep fried twice. So it's not the frozen uh, potato which you get somewhere else. So they're really fresh potatoes. Uh, yes. The secret herb of the sauce, what is gorgeous dish actually, is just dip your fries and then you eat that, right? Which is gorgeous. Uh, the steak comes already. The steak comes sliced. To your liking and it's nicely medium rare as you see and on wow, top is this nice big so, so even wow. even actually even my my kitchen stuff they don't know the full recipe of the sauce because 50 mm percent -hmm. i keep i keep secret otherwise i couldn't call it secret right mm -hmm. so otherwise everybody would copy me i thought you were uh, going to teach us how to so make this the coffee. Other sauce. <laughs> no you know the secret of <laughs> the secret about the sauce i do usually during midnight when nobody is around. So that is really actually, it's, it's, it's a secret. Wow. So I have to do this, this, this butter sauce in, in advance. Uh, so, so we have different so dishes. Your team knows how to make it except you. Exactly. Actually, I had to promise my wife that when I pass away, I give the recipe to her. <laughs> so, <laughs> what it's really about, you know, Father's Day is really about letting the father enjoy a good steak and having let him have his food, right? I mean, I know my wife. My wife sometimes tells me, too much meat, too much meat. Again, you want to eat meat, and again, but it's, 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 uh, it's what we like, right? What we love, a good piece of steak, uh, some good fries, a good glass of white wine, or a good glass of red wine, actually much better with the red wine. Uh, mm -hmm. Happiness is little, and, and uh, that's certainly what you can get this weekend in Lampico. I love it. Happiness is legal. Uh, talking about that, uh, Hideo, what are your plans? Uh, what, uh, what is Fatima and your kids? What are they planning for you? Do you already know what they're planning for you this uh, weekend for Father's Day? No, actually, I haven't planned anything yet, but uh, I got ideas for today. And I'm familiar with the restaurant. I used to live in the neighborhood. And the food there is amazing. Yeah. I love it. Same here. Same here. Uh, shrimp and also beef it's amazing the bread it's so fresh so now i'm getting ideas what to do this weekend i probably going to do one of the restaurants today that we're talking about and i have to decide fast because i know it's going to be easy and have to do <laughs> before right <laughs> okay there you have I'm also, uh, i've also been there a few times and i really love the steaks there in Lantern Park. yeah it's good it's super yeah. super good super also, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's the nice thing. I think. And uh, I want to say hello also to Puy Quinones and the Orbit Gang. Orbit Gang it is. Yes, so uh, let's go to. Uh, we have to go to Lantricot, no? Orbit, Orbit Peeps. Okay, so, Chef, you know, every restaurant has their own technique. But is there a best way to cook steak? I think the best way to cook steak is high heat and you rest it. That's the, I think that's the. And every professional knows what I'm talking about. It's really about high heat and resting time. And then you have a very good product. You know, uh, sometimes it's the cooking, but you know, when you also buy a steak, make sure you buy a quality steak. And please, also the customer should inform themselves first. You know, you can buy U.S. steak, but U.S. steaks have so many categories and so many levels of quality. So I think it's important that the customer always finds out if you see on the menu U.S. steak, ask what kind of U.S. steak, what is the grade, from where does it come from, question it, so that also when you pay for the price, that you get also the quality, right? I think that's mm. very, very important, because there's so many different kinds of quality of beef you find in the industry, and I believe yes. some are overpriced and some are not overpriced, but a good steak is really hot, very hot, hot uh, uh, hearing, and then you rest it for a while, and then you will have a very beautiful, perfect steak. And for the vegetarians in the house, 
there's always the fries, okay. right? <laughs> <laughs> there was, always the fries, I agree. You know, they're but, all... But, hey, please, please, I really, I really would like to really empathize that uh, we at the restaurant, the restaurant scene in the moment really needs a lot of support. Mm. And it's really about, for the customers, don't be afraid to go out. Everybody, most of the restaurants, I would say all of them, 90%, are prepared for the guests to be welcome. And we're all doing our, our, our social distancing and we are clean and we are, uh, but we need the business. We need the business to survive. And I think that's very important in the moment. Take your dad, go out on a Sunday, book your table in a restaurant, support any restaurant in your neighborhood or wherever you can. Uh, uh, yeah, because, yeah. And in the moment, it's a hard time for a lot of, lot of my friends as well in the industry. And uh, we need to support them. you. Okay. Thank you so much, Chef Martin. We believe exactly in what you're saying. And that's why we, we are doing this to encourage people to visit our neighborhood restaurant and support local and small businesses. Somebody said hello to you also. Uh, he says, Hi, Martin. Great. I like your Cafe de Paris a lot. So there's, thank you so much, Chef Martin, and we will see you thank in you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Okay. So there I'm already uh, salivating and I'm already... No, oh, me too. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. So guys, who are, all of you guys who are watching, I hope you guys are already getting ideas on what you're going to serve Dad this Father's Day. Make sure you are already planning your surprises for Dad and let us know whatever you your thoughts are by sharing and the hashtag MLM Faves and Craves. So that makes two of our dishes fit for Father's Day. And now we are down to our third. Okay. And so we have served you the dry aged Angus ribeye from Stone Steaks from Eastwood City and steak with secret herb butter sauce. So secret that even the wife <laughs> of Chef Mark doesn't know how to make it. From Lentricot, Forbes Town.